In the Western world, there are only three major manufacturers of jet engines, and one of them is British. Rolls-Royce have secured their position as a world leader by investing heavily in the latest technologies. Their entry is one of these, a way of making turbine blades known as single crystal technology. A tornado fighter from RAF Strike Command takes to the skies. These planes can reach a top speed of 1,500 miles an hour, but there's a price to pay for that sort of performance. The turbine blades inside any jet engine take incredible punishment. When they're spinning, the centrifugal force is equivalent to hanging a double-decker bus from each one of these blades. And the temperature gets so high that they glow red hot. With conventional blades, the cost of constant maintenance is huge. But the engines in a tornado are rather special. At least, the turbine blades are. Now, it may look just like a lump of steel, but this blade is actually a perfect single crystal of metal. Compared to a conventional blade with millions of tiny crystals, it can take more force, more heat, and last much longer cutting down on those high maintenance costs. The question is, how do you make a crystal in the shape of a turbine blade? Well, each blade starts out as a very precise wax template, around which a hard mould will be formed. It's a simple, automated process performed on groups of blades joined together into clusters. This basic technique, known as lost wax casting, has been used for thousands of years in making jewellery. But here it has a twist in the tail. And this is it. This pigtail at the base of each blade holds the secret to the single crystal. Inside the furnace, molten alloy pours into the mould. The mould is then drawn slowly down out of the hot zone. As the metal cools, it begins to solidify at the bottom into lots of tiny crystals. The first one to grow into the pigtail blocks off the path for any others, and that is the crystal that becomes the blade. To grow a single crystal is one thing, to prove you've done so is another. It's essential that each blade really is a perfect crystal. If not, it could fail when the engine is running with serious consequences. So testing is vitally important. But the X-ray diffraction that's normally used is very slow. So Rolls-Royce set out to develop a faster, more cost-effective way of doing it. They introduced an image intensifier to detect the very weak X-rays reflected back by the crystal structure. Now, within seconds, an image appears on the screen and is automatically analysed to reveal whether the crystal is sound. This technique of inspecting the blades has proved to be so effective that Rolls-Royce has licensed it to blade manufacturers supplying its two big American rivals. Although all three major jet engine manufacturers now use single crystal technology, Rolls-Royce engines have been chosen for this new Airbus, the A330, that's just coming into service. And also for the American Boeing 777, due to take off next year. So those are the first three finalists, an ingenious electronic nose, that zippy printer software, and the technology to make those jet engine blades. Do you think you spotted the winner yet? Well, don't jump to any conclusions because there are still three more to come. And if you're working on a technological idea which might become a commercial success, then you could be one of next year's finalists. Details of how to enter for this award are on CFAX page 623. Meanwhile, back to this year's awards, let's see the other contenders.